Thank you guys for getting involved in one of my favorite reports. We have to keep requests to the first two, so keep them coming next week when we open it back up for Technical Tuesday. A lot to cover brought to you by Trading Market Technicals. Shout out real quick to last week's chart, the diamonds. Since we had a lot of selling off, I want to quickly revisit support. Last week, we referenced the 240 area as support. Diamonds trades as low as 240.95. This area will be the one to watch in the coming trading sessions. So let's see if it can hold. Okay, request. Netflix Good One has been in an uptrend all of 2018. After reporting earnings in July, it gapped down, creating gap resistance, breaking its uptrend. Since then, Netflix has struggled to get above its gap resistance area of 391.12 to 382.27. After reporting earnings on October 17th, it gapped up but lost all of its gains and has been selling off since its earnings report. The take. It's below its 21, 50, and 200 day moving averages. Volume has increased to the downside, indicating distribution. That's hedge fund, institutional selling. There is gap support from 249.50 to 226.95, and MACD and RSI are in oversold territory. Netflix needs to trade above its 200 day moving average of 333.09 in order for us to truly Netflix and really chill. Next, Kinder Morgan, a natural gas line company. It's been in a downtrend making lower lows and lower highs indicated by the red arrows and downtrend line. Back in April, it found support at 1465 and started a small corrective rally forming a bearish rising wedge, one of my favorites, while taking back its 200 day moving average. But Kinder Morgan could not find enough momentum to break above its downtrend line. It has currently broken below its 200 day moving average, which is bearish. The fundamentals for this company are actually pretty solid, but the chart isn't so great right now. If you're looking to get in or out, there are two areas of support to watch. First is the $16 area, and the second one will be the retest of $14.65. MACD and RSI all pointing lower, and they're in oversold territory. Look for a possible bounce at one of those support areas mentioned.